All right, in this video, we're going to look at goal M.2.3 in the ATIT study manual for math, and we're going to discuss the relationships between two variables. Uh, in this video, hopefully you'll get a better understanding of correlation and covariance, as well as what can make something an independent variable and what can make something a dependent variable. In my recent uh, goal M.2.2, we looked at you know some uh, graphs here where we looked at trends and we called them correlations. Well, though covariance and correlation are not the same, uh, by all means, uh, that there is a different definition for each one. If you take a statistics course later on in your college career or whatever you may be doing for education, uh, you will learn about the difference between correlation and covariance. However, for the sake of this video, um, I kind of I want you to think of them as being the same. Uh, the way two variables change together, an increase in one and an increase in another, that's going to indicate positive correlation. And it also indicates a, a positive covariance as well. And we're going to look at some examples of a positive correlation. But again, uh, you know, for the sake of just trying to match things up with what you're seeing in your study manual, let's kind of think of them as being the same. But, but there is a difference between them. I'm not going to discuss that in this video. So a positive correlation, a relationship between two variables where if one variable increases, the other one also increases. So if one thing goes up, something else goes up. If one thing goes down, then something else is going to go down as well. For example, uh, over here, you know, just doing examples.yourdictionary.com, I just did a quick Google search and I typed in positive correlation examples. Many of these are showing this. So the more time you spend running on a treadmill, the more calories you will burn. So notice that, that as time goes up, the calories that you burn will also increase as well. But, you know, don't always think it has to be an increase in increase. I mean, let's look at this example. Where was it at? As the tread on your tire decreases, the traction on the road is also going to decrease. So doesn't that example make sense? You know, as one thing goes down, something else goes down. Uh, so that's indicating a positive relationship. They both go in the same direction. And for the sake of your ATIT study manual, the covariance is defined as, you know, the way, how do they define it? The way two variables change together. Um, so it, it's, it's not necessarily indicating the relationship, but it, it still is saying, hey, as one thing goes up, something else is going to go up. Typically, the word we use is correlation for that type of relationship. But again, uh, just kind of sticking to the vocabulary that you see in your ATIT study manual. Now, some examples of negative correlation. This indicates when one variable decreases, the other variable will increase. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about variables in a second, but let's see what happens here. A student who has a lot of absences. So as absences go up, the grade is going to go down. This is an example of negative correlation. And um, the way these two variables change together is actually called the covariance. But again, just think of it as, as one thing goes up, something else is going to go down. Or we can say, uh, let's see, let's find one where something decreases. If a car decreases speed, so if speed goes down, the time that it's going to take you to travel somewhere is going to go up. So as speed decreases, travel time is going to increase. And this is an example of negative correlation. They kind of go in opposite directions. That's what you want to think about here when you're looking at these examples in your ATIT study manual. Now, some other things to address back here. Uh, independent variable and dependent variable. We got two variables, and variables are, in this case, let's go back and look at um, this negative correlation. So let's, let, let's look at this example right here. A student who has many absences has a decrease in grades. Well, let's think about this. Does your grade depend on the number of absences or does your absences depend on the grade? Um, it, it's going to be that first example I gave. The grade that you get based on this example that we see here, the grade is going to depend on how many absences you have. And notice what I said there. Grade depends on the absences. So the grade is going to be the dependent variable because it depends on absences. Absences will be your independent variable. Let's look at it, some more examples here. As weather gets colder, air conditioning costs decrease. So notice air conditioning costs will depend on the temperature. 
So as it gets colder, that's your, the temperature is going to be the independent variable. The air conditioning cost is going to be the dependent variable because the cost of your air condition, uh, your air conditioning cost is going to depend on the temperature outside. You know, the weather outside does not depend on what your air conditioning cost is. You got to think about that. And that's what I do when I address what is the independent and dependent variable. I always ask myself, which one, which variable depends on the other? Now, even though I haven't formally defined variable, variable, and you know, back in this first example, we talked about grades, uh, a grade is a variable, the absences, the number of absences is also a variable as well. Let's look at some positive correlation examples. Let's look at the one over here. The faster a jet pilot flies, the higher the g-forces are. So, does the speed depend on the g-force or does the g-forces that the fighter or the jet jet pilot is feeling does that depend on the speed and, and that's that's right that last example there the g-forces uh, that are felt depend on how fast the jet pilot is flying so the g-force variable is the dependent variable because the g-forces uh, g that are felt depend on the independent variable uh, the speed of the jet pilot you know, that, that's the two big things here, uh, looking at independent and dependent variables, one thing, and then also, you know, talking about correlation and covariance. Though they are different, I encourage you, you know, here's a, a quick example, doing a quick Google search, the difference between covariance and correlation, depending on if you've had a statistic course before, correlation is always going to be negative is always going to be between negative one and one. Whereas uh, covariance, the, the number can change depending on uh, the two variables that you're, com you're comparing, whatever units they may be in, that can change your covariance. But again, I'm not going to dive real deep into that. I think you will be just fine on the T's test, uh, understanding that if one thing goes up, something else goes up, we call that a positive correlation and you can refer to it as a positive covariance. Um, whereas if one thing goes up and the other thing goes down or vice versa, uh, we can call that a negative correlation, which does indicate a negative covariance. And there you have it. That's goal M.2.3. Not a lot of number crunching here, but we did discuss correlation, co covariance, independent variables, and dependent variables. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.